I think people have, the, have often had the idea that humans are extremely different from all other animals and uh, other animals are very stupid in comparison with humans. And the more research we do, the more we find that that's not, not correct at all. And I'm always careful, in fact, to say other animals because humans, of course, are animals and we have, uh, we have an enormous overlap in our, our uh, functioning, our genetic makeup with, with other species. We're very, very similar to other species. And when you look at brain function, we're very similar in that as well. So uh, the other animals which are, which are very clever when we do studies of learning are, uh, used to, it used to be thought that it was just um, other primates, monkeys and apes. Uh, and now it's clear, in fact, that uh, probably the most sophisticated learning which has been demonstrated is in parrots and crows. Uh, so, so bird brain means slightly cleverer than a lot of, a lot of monkeys. Uh, and also uh, animal, animals like our common farm animals, which are social animals and therefore need to have high quality brains. Uh, cows and sheep and pigs also have uh, very high levels of cognitive ability, as do dogs. Uh, so there are a number of animals which have, but it's, 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 it's mammals and birds and fish and octopus. There are lots of animals which are complex in their learning ability, as demonstrated by, by, by uh, learning studies. One sort of comparative study which was done by, by Ron Kilgour in New Zealand some years ago was to, put, to let, just see if animals could learn to run a, a maze. And what he found was that uh, uh, all the animals he tested could learn to go through the maze. He had mazes of different sizes for different sizes of animals. Uh, and, but the, uh, the domestic animals, the, the uh, cows and sheep and pigs, uh, uh, did extremely well, and slightly better than dogs and cats and horses. Uh, and uh, so that was a surprising result. Uh, but, so that was mate running through a maze. And then there, there are studies where animals have to, uh, have to remember uh, have to remember things and act on them later. And we now know that all animals are organizing their lives in a way in which they are planning for the future. So you can, you, you, if you present, you present an animal, a, a pig is watching while you hide something. You then allow it to go to the place and it can find what you put there. If you allow it to go there the following day, it still remembers where you put it. When the pig goes to get the object, if it's food and there's another pig there, it may not go and get it initially because it could be robbed by the other pig. In other words, it's predicting what might happen in the future and it's acting accordingly. Uh, so there are these sorts of studies which are being done.